Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So it's been two weeks since uh, Defenseless for the Win 4 actually started. And roughly two weeks ago, as you can see, the first war that we had, it was a 10 versus 10, and we actually lost that war. So the clan was rather inactive. I'm not too sure what happened to the rest of that uh, four attacks that we actually needed to do to actually uh, score a draw with our opponent. So I'm not too sure why two people didn't complete that attack. But yeah, not to worry. I mean, we eventually um, went ahead to grow the clan. As you can see, the second war that we had, uh, we had a 45v45. We had a perfect score of 135. And then the following war, the third one was at 132, was three stars away from a perfect score. And then subsequently, the next one against uh, uh, Meh Mehmet, we uh, did 135, which also was a perfect score. And then after that, another perfect score was uh, at done with 120 stars against, I think, this uh, Russian clan. And then after that, the next one, two days ago, as you can see, the one that we had with another Russian clan, which I'm going to show you guys the details right now. As you can see, this war, we had a score of 114 against 57. So uh, we're going to take a look at some of the uh, attacks that the opponent has done. So we're going to take a look at the first one. So as you can see, uh, doing on my base, using some um, basically giants, uh, wizards, and also some uh, goblins, and even uh, some uh, uh, barbarians. And of course, uh, he's going to use a lightning spell now to try to take out my clan castle, which is a very good move. But of course, he's going to score a 3 star nevertheless, because I only have like 4 things to defend my base, my clan castle both of my heroes and my level 1 cannon. So as mentioned in defenseless for the win, we all of us, we only have one uh, level 1 cannon to defend our base and of course our clan castle and heroes to de uh, depend on. So yeah, this guy still had even a healer to heal up his uh, troops. We actually have already a uh, full HP. So he didn't require the healer actually and, and so more the healer won't be able to get taken down especially when there's no air defense on my base. So going ahead with the second defense which actually uh, is quite an interesting base layout uh, done by SSP. As you can see, he put the word please and then going to attack only his town hall. But of course, uh, this is a clan war so clan war the guy i mean the opponent have to do a three star on all, all the bases because uh, we will definitely do three star back to them so as you can see this guy is going to use uh, some barbarians and also some um, wizards to go here and you can see the middle the funny part is the war breakers went for the middle section war whereby that's the only war that it could actually go for maybe uh I'm not too sure why I didn't go for maybe the corner, the word there, P over there, but maybe because there were actually structures around it. So it depends on uh, whether are there any structures around the, the walls that will actually determine whether your wall breaker will go for those walls. So now as you can see, it's going to clear up SSP's base with just uh, firing ahead with the uh, wizards and then going ahead to just clear the rest of the elixir collectors right now, scoring him the three stars. And then now we shall go and take a look at some of our attacks. So our attacks, the first one was done by me, doing it on the first one. The first one, his base was a Town Hall 7, so Town Hall 7 wasn't too difficult to attack. So I'm just going to go ahead to use some Barbarian's Archers to try to uh, settle the whole base because I knew that uh, it was quite an easy base, especially when I have my King and Queen in my hand. So uh, the King wasn't in my hand actually, the King was actually being upgraded. As I was trying to get him to the next level, the Queen was already good enough. As now using my free spell to freeze up the two Wizard Towers over there, and then just following up with the a clan castle with some uh, uh, witches and also a wizard so now as you can see the base has been three star already and i won't be showing you guys the next one which was also done by me because uh, that was also another barge attack let's go ahead and take a look at the lucky number seven number seven's attack uh done by pino so pino uh he's a number 25 in the clan but he's going to use barbarians and archers to try to take out this base i believe it's a town hall five so as you can see the defenses they are quite uh, well placed Especially they are behind the wall and the walls level ain't too low too, especially with such low level barbarians and archers. It's not going to be uh, too easy but of course the way that uh, Pinoy has actually uh, deployed his troops has really done it really well to actually do the three star and of course clearing out the corner structures too, which has uh, he has already observed for that. So now let's take a look at the summary of this clan war against the Russian clan which we have done 37 three stars against their 16 three stars. And of course, uh, we have done 98.2%. Didn't manage to complete all the uh, attacks and get a perfect score for this uh, war. But yeah, nevertheless, it was still a good uh, war rate uh, with all my clan mates. And now I shall show you guys the next war that we had against this Chinese clan. So this Chinese clan, they only managed to do 7 uh, stars. And uh, the Chinese clan name is actually called Woman the Hao Xiong Di. So I know how to read Chinese because I'm a Chinese, I'm a Singaporean Chinese. So for those of you who are wondering, so the meaning of woman the Hao Xiong Ti means uh, our uh, good brothers. 
So basically, uh, they are good brothers, but I'm not too sure why they didn't do finish their attack. Maybe they weren't that active for that matter, but as you can see, they're all still in the clan. So they're all having a Chinese names and most of them uh, having Chinese names, of course. So I'm not too sure why they, didn't, they uh, do finish their attack. So let's take a look at the very first uh, attack that I'd like to show you guys. First of all, let's take a look at the summary. So the summary, as you can see, we've done 31 three stars. And then uh, we didn't manage to do the perfect score again, but we're going to take a look at the first attack, which is the most heroic attack done by uh, defenseless Macho. So Macho is going to go ahead using only Barbarians, level 3 Barbarians to be exact. So as you can see, Barbarians they are very strong if you actually group them up together, but that's also a very risky thing to do, especially when you are going against a Wizard Towers and Mota. For this base alone, there ain't any uh, Wizard Towers to be afraid of. So after the Mota has actually uh, got taken care of, uh, Barbarians are just going to continue to just tear through the whole base and now scoring him the 3 stars in just less than uh, 2 minutes. So he did a really good job, Macho. So going ahead with the next one, uh, let's take a look at my defensive uh, replay first. So my defensive replay, as you can see, this guy was using a lot of troops, all level 2 troops, and then uh, just level 1 uh, wall breaker. So let's see what actually went wrong and how he actually not managed to actually 3 star my base. As uh, technically my base is relatively easy to 3 star and he's number 2nd in the base. But there's a catch to it later when you guys actually watch the replay. So now dropping a lightning spell which actually uh, missed to hit my uh, wizards. So the wizards were actually given by some of my clan is still really awesome to give me some high level troops. Especially when it's kind of not easy to actually get troops in uh, this uh, war because uh, most of them they only have like level 1 or 2 archers. Especially like whenever I start a new clan like for the win 4 or for the win 5 which I might start soon but I'm not too sure about that. But uh, currently I'm not starting it because I do have other plans later I'll tell you guys more about it. So going uh, back to um, the base so now as you can see uh, my he actually got uh, attacked for one star so let's take a look at what happened again so this guy used some uh, giants and of course the clan castle sword contains some level 6 below which i have actually given to uh, the top five players in the clan war so uh, they do have some uh, balloons they're now going to go ahead and take out the crown troops really efficiently if i have a uh, valkyrie i actually would actually give some valkyries because the uh, valkyries they are really good to fend off against uh, barbarians and archers especially barbarians because just one swing from the valkyrie will actually take out the group of barbarians really easily so now just left with only one balloon over there trying to clear out all of the structures but time is definitely going to be a big factor in this and of course he won't be able to get the town hall too and then now going ahead back to our base and then going ahead to take a look at the very first attack done by jerome jerome is number 23 but he went ahead to attack the number one using some barbarian archers so this is the catch as you can see the first attacker the opponent of our um clan uh, opponent's base is actually a town hall 5 so we were matched with like town fives uh, and above and below only so it's a very it was a very easy clan war but of course i still really would appreciate if all of us could actually do a perfect score doing and everybody to do finish all their attacks as uh, the next one was done by me i used uh, one golem in my clan castle and just my archer queen to actually have a little fun so just checking out for the clan castle first clan castle didn't contain anything so i'm just gonna go ahead to drop my clan castle over here which contain one level 5 golem so the level 5 golem it has a lot of uh, hit points whereby it actually won't get taken out really quickly the only way to actually take out the golem really quickly is to have a single targeting inferno so single targeting inferno it, those are really really powerful to actually take out the golems but now as you can see the golem really doesn't have anything to worry about especially when the motor over there is trying to take it out but it's not going to do a lot of harm to it now the cannon is going to be taken out really quickly by the punches of the golem golem is going to take out the cannon in just a matter of seconds and now the archer queen is just going to follow behind level 18 archer queen although not max level but she still do pack a punch especially when uh, now she's just going to be in cloak mode taking a few shots on the elixir storage going to take it out the war is going to be in her way but nevertheless she's going to bust through it now the golem is also helping out by taking out the rest of the structures no more defenses left on this base to actually uh, carry on the uh, attack for the golem so yeah it's going to be a three star using just uh, one golem and also just one archer queen and now going ahead to take a look at the very third attack done by DG dfg so dfg actually um i already had some plans uh, with this clan which is i've actually passed leadership to dfg so dfg currently is the leader of the clan i'm going to head back to uh the main clan defenseless for the win so that I could actually uh, have some uh, fun with them and also do uh, check out the clan itself because our leader is actually not free for this moment so I do have to go there to actually uh, make, th make sure that things are actually going well over there so I did pass leadership to DFG for those of you who are actually uh, in defenses for the win 4 and wondering why I pass it to him is because he has been with us for very long especially I knew him since defenseless for the win 2 and then proceeded on to defenseless for the win 3 so I really do entrust 
TFG to actually do the leadership and of course I'll be leaving the clan soon so but not to worry I'll definitely drop by to actually say hi to you guys as I will drop by as much as possible so as you can see uh, defenseless for the win family has grown quite a bit expanding to defenseless for, for the win 4 and of course we have grown up to almost 200 people already and of course we're going to carry on to grow but not so soon now I'm going to go back to defenseless for the win main clan to actually help out on things over there so yeah hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some clan wars over there and also the situation over there so yeah with that said I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.